All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do the objective and the editorial, which may be the most important part because they're right at the top. It's going to be the first thing they see. Um, here's some examples of good resumes if you want to take a look at it. All right, so what is an objective for a resume? An objective is a short targeted statement that clearly outlines your career direction while simultaneously positioning you as someone who fits what the employer is looking for exactly. Okay, so your objective is carefully researched and tailored to fit the job you're applying for, so your resume will change depending on what job you're trying to get. It's not generic. Um, all right, let's keep going. So what I want you to do is this. What is your dream do job when you're done with your training? So at, when you're 27 and you're, and you're ready for a, a great job, what, what do you want to do? So that's kind of what I had intended for, for this resume. Um, if you really want to use it for a job you're looking for now, that would be OK, too. But I think this would be more fun, OK? Um, so how could you find out for sure what skills the boss th is most looking for? Well, you could go to the website of that, of that employer and find out what they're looking for. OK, so here's what we're going to do. So let's take a look here at a objective. OK, so here's our resume. And so this individual wanted to get, their objective was to get an editorial position in an organization where communication skills and desire to work with the public would be needed. So what kind of job did she want? Uh, editorial. She wanted to be the editor of a magazine or a newspaper, right? Um, and so this particular thing is not one you turn in if you wanted to be the manager of McDonald's because it's targeted towards a particular job. So that's what we're trying to do is the objective, okay? Um, so pick a career that you want when you're 27 and have finished all your schooling or training. Create an objective using the following format, the X, Y, Z format. So it's a blank position in an organization where Y and Z would be needed, right? So X is the name of the position you are applying for. Y and Z are the most compelling qualities, abilities, or achievements that you will really make, that will make you stand out above the crowd. Okay, so an example from that resume we just looked at is an editorial position. What job do you want? An editorial position, X. And what skills do you have in an organization where communication skills and a desire to work with the public would be needed? So you're telling them, the employer, what are you going to bring to the table? What are you going to do for them? You're going to bring communication skills and a desire to work with the public. Okay? So here's another an idea, an entry-level equipment operator and laborer position for Peterson ex excavation where hard, fast work and attention to detail would be needed. What job do you want? You want to run a heavy-duty heavy, heavy duty equipment. What skills can you bring to them? You're a fast worker and you have attention to detail. Entry-level welding position with Trotter Welding, where a capable and experienced structural welder would be needed, so on and so forth. Okay, so I want you guys to open up your resume and do a targeted, a targeted objective. Okay, so that's it for that. So now the next thing after you get your targeted objective is to do an editorial. What is a uh, editorial, a resume editorial is a paragraph at the top where you describe yourself as the best possible person for the job. And don't use the word I. So again, from our resume, so this person just right at the very top, they put their very best skills. Exceptional writer and editor, by the way, what did they want, what does she want to become? An editor and a writer, right there, boom. Exceptional writer and editor who successfully manages and prepares large written, written projects. Um, and you can read the rest. But basically, it's a paragraph where you put your very top skills right at the very beginning. Okay? Um, so now that's what I want you guys to do next in your resume. And here's some editorial examples. You can read through these yourself. Um, there you go. Okay, so I want everybody to do a, an objective and editorial territorial in your resume.